Oh, look, it's Curtis. Where's he going? I think he's off to do a bit of fishing, Muck. Now then, let's get to work. Right yes. on. Who knows what treasures there might be among the flotsam and jetsam? Oh, really? If we're lucky, we might find something really, really special. Like <gasps> that piece of driftwood! Oh. That's not special. It's no good for anything. Except the trash. It's good for looking at, Scoop. It's like a work of art. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Just looks like a piece of old wood to me. Well, to me, it's beautiful. And I'm going to look for more pieces of driftwood. Do yourself. I'm going to do some clearing. Okay, guys. Time to get this beach ready for some spring fun. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Trash. <gasps> no, Scoop. That's much too interesting to throw away. What? Oh, look at that lovely curly shape. It's almost like the tail of a mermaid. Uh, no, can't say it, Lofty. It's just useless driftwood. You can't do anything useful with it. I bet I can do something with it, but I'm not sure what just yet. Why don't you put all the driftwood in one neat pile near the ramp, Lofty? And then you can decide what to do with it later. Okay, Bob. And then would you come and help me put this stone back in the wall? Will do, Bob. Good work, Lofty. Thanks. Do you think I've got all the fixum and gypsum scoop? Flopsum and gypsum! Fix them and gypsum. Flotsam and gypsum. Yeah, that. Did I get it all? Um. Oh, oh, hang on. I can see one more piece. Sorry, girl. What's that, Scoop? Huh? Driftwood. You could make something interesting out of that. A garden decoration or a fence post or a... Uh, it's just more trash, Curtis. Huh? Hey, Mark. Hi, everyone. Oh, Bob, everything will be finished before we reopen this afternoon, won't it? Yes, don't worry. Leo and the machines will build the bear's new climbing frame while I repaint the washroom and fix the plumbing. Oh, and could you take a look at the sign over the penguin enclosure, too? It looks a bit wobbly. Of course. Let's do that now. It's your build, Leo. You call it. Thanks, Bob. Well, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! I just tried to make a cup of tea, but there's no water. <laughs> I know. I switched it off so I can do the plumbing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> I don't suppose... Yes, I'll switch it back on so you can make some tea. Hilchard? What's she doing here? She wanted to come to work with me. She really shouldn't be here, Scoop. But I've trained her well, like Steffi trained her dog Rex. She'll behave herself. I know she will. You won't tell Bob, will you, Leo? Lofty? Okay, then. I suppose not. But you have to look after her at all times, Scoop. I will. Promise. Go on, Pilchard. You stay away from the build so you're safe. See? 
She does everything I say. Hmm. How's it going? Ah! Hello, Bob. <laughs> you okay, Scoop? Oh, uh... Oh, uh, yes, Bob. Fine, thanks. No problems. Right. Oh, yes, this is all looking great. Huh, thanks, Bob. I'll get on with the painting then. Call me if you need anything. Of course, right away. Pelchard. Oh, there you are, girl. <gasps> Was Pilchard in that pile of wood? Oh, Scoop. She could have been hurt if Lofty had picked up one of those posts without knowing. I only took my eye off her for a second and she wandered off. She shouldn't be here at all, Scoop. I... Ta-da! But where are the wheels? Wheels? Uh... Uh-huh. <laughs> Almost finished. Merry Christmas, Sappy! <laughs> oh. Uh, thanks, Muck, but I think I'll stick to my scooter after all. Oh. Okay. Muck, <gasps> have you seen my box of decorations? And my trolley? <gasps> Muck! I was trying to make a go-kart. Maybe I'm not a toy-making elf after all. Let's take a break. And Muck? Yes, Bob? Clean this up, please. Oh. What you doing, Wendy? Oh, I'm trying to think up this year's Christmas card for Bob. What do you think of this one? An ice skating ghost. I like it. That's supposed to be a polar bear. Oh. <sighs> OK, team. Back to work. If I were a Christmas elf, which I am, what would I do now? Um, ooh, I know. I'll decorate the tree. Leave the poor tree alone, Muck. I'll just need to find some shiny things to hang from it. Found some. Muck, what are you doing? Must be elf luck. I found a whole bucket full of decorations. That's a garbage can, Muck. Stand back. Elf at work. Muck, stop. Uh-oh. I decorated the tree! Oh, Muck! Oh, no. No, oh, you should have asked me first, Muck. We have proper decorations for the tree right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lofty, help Muck remove all of this garbage, please. I don't... but... Yes, Bob. Oh, I guess I'm not a tree-decorating elf either. No, you're definitely not. But I am an elf. A something else elf. Mm, I'm a <gasps> present delivering elf. Oh dear. I need to get these presents to the children of Spring City. Muck. Elf on a mission. Those are supposed to go under the tree. And they're empty. Come back. Looks like a winter wind is on its way. We may have to add extra supports to keep our big ginger fella from tipping over. Muck, we'll need to go back to the yard. Where is he? Lofty? Muck? I'm not sure we can get through here, Two-Ton. Don't worry, Wendy. I can manage. What's going on here now? Wow! Look! A house on wheels! Awesome! Amazing! Oh, what's happening, Philip? There appears to be a house on the move, Mom. Well, yes, I know. But what's it doing here? Steady. Oh. Hello, Mayor Madison. Mr. Bentley, why is my historic house holding up the traffic in Spring City? Yes, it really is most exciting. A nest of ducklings. Ducklings? What have ducklings got to do with it? Steady. Careful now. Easy does it. 
We're not going to make it. Trust me, Lofty. We are going to make it. <gasps> there. Clear sailing from now on. Oh, that's funny. We should have met them by now. Look, there's Mr. Bentley. What's he doing? Uh, Mr. Bentley? The eggs, they hatched. The ducklings think I'm their mother. Okay. Uh, where's Tutan? Where's the old house? They couldn't come this way because we couldn't disturb this nest. They're fulvous whistling ducks, you know. Okay. So where did Wendy and the house go then? No, oh, they went that way. Into the city center? They'll never get through that way. Come on, Scoop. We have to stop them before it's too late. Stop! Stop! Oh, I don't think the house will go under there. Of course it will. Loads of room. I'll show you. I'm not so sure either. Watch. I have an uncanny ability to judge heights accurately. See? What did I tell you? Almost through. It's fine. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, stop! Tito, stop! Oh, dear. Now, that shouldn't have happened. I appear to be stuck. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Stop there, Muck. That's enough to make it half full. And perfect. Ooh, look. Where'd that crate come from? It's like in Bob's story. Yes, but Bob said it wasn't scary because Wendy had moved it. So uh, has Wendy moved this crate then, Scoop? Uh, no. There's no one else here. So we're alone and the crate just got there all by itself? Quick, Scoop, do something brave. Get the crate out of here! Of course. Sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, look! Wendy is here! She must have moved the crate. You did move it, didn't you, Wendy? Please say you moved it. Please. Yes, I left it on the path whilst Lofty was finishing the entrance. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. Oh, you didn't scare Scoop. He's way too brave. Right, Scoop? Oh, th th that's right. I, I wasn't scared at all. Not one bit. Oh, so they're the pretend dinosaur bones to hide in the sand pit. Yes, and there are three more crates. Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like like this one. Okay, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm gonna go. I'm going now. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. Scoop? Scoop! Go! 
Um, da dum dum dum. The watchful superhero patrols. Bus the... off! Go away! Aha! A citizen in distress. Wow! You've been saved by. Oh! Oops! Sorry, Chef Tutty. Gotta fly! Faster than a speeding tractor. Oh! 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 oh. Lady Tibbles, come down this instant, young lady. Another rescue? This is my lucky day! Never fear! Super Scoop is here! <laughs> wow, pow, whoop, whoop. You've been saved! Uh, I'll try again. Thanks, Scoop, but that won't be necessary. I'll go and get a ladder. Rescues worked properly. Maybe there'll be someone I can rescue back at the park. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, sign. <gasps> that could fall and hurt someone. Super scoop to the rescue. Hmm? Careful, scoop. Yeah. Ouch. Faster than a speeding tractor. More... Oh, no! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Ow. Stay still, Scoop. We'll get you out from under there. Oh. A superhero is supposed to be strong and brave. They shouldn't need rescuing. I'm a super zero. A true hero doesn't need super strength or bravery, Scoop. A true hero thinks before they act. Thanks, Wendy. How come you know so much about superheroes? Well, I, um... Oh. Phew. Hello? Oh, hi, Mayor Madison. Hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'm on the way to the premiere with Mr. Lightning. See you soon. Oh, dear, this is unfortunate. Oh, dear. How can we possibly fix this screen in time? Hmm. Oh, maybe we could use the billboard as a screen. That's a super idea, Scoop. Now, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Scoop! Guess what? Wendy says it's going to be Bob's birthday soon. Oh, wow! We can have a party! Yeah! Yes, and she's getting him a present. It's a surprise. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. I don't know. Wendy, Wendy, what's the surprise? Shh, Buck. Wait, what's the surprise job today? <laughs> no surprises today, Scoop. It's a big day, though. Is that because we have to finish putting in all the steel supports for the skyscraper, Bob? That's right, Leo. Just like this. We're finishing this part today. These supports hold up the rest of the building. And then after that, we'll be able to build on upwards. Whoa! That is awesome! Yes, it'll be the tallest building we've ever built. Now, Lofty, you'll help me, Wendy, and Leo. Got it, Bob. Not forgetting Tiny, of course. Hi there, Tiny. Ready for some tower power? Morning, Bob, everyone. Oh, yes, tower power at the ready. Excellent. Scoop and Muck, you'll dig the trenches for the pipes to bring water to the skyscraper. Will do, Bob. Yes, Bob. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know what Wendy's surprise present to Bob will be. Oh, really? Then what? It'll be... A new motorbike! 
Oh, yes! Bob would love that! Back in a mo! Or maybe it'll be a new saxophone! Hi there, Scoop. Oh, hello, Roland. Wendy asked me to deliver this. Why, what is it? I think it's something for Bob. Something for Bob? <gasps> oh, wow! OK, pop it in here, Roland. I'll make sure Wendy gets it safely. Excellent. Thanks, Scoop. Say hi there for me. Will do, Roland. Bye. 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 What's happening? Look at this. Look. Roland just brought it. It's something Wendy ordered. And Roland thinks it's for Bob. Hadn't you better give it to him then? No, don't you see? Wendy ordered it and it's for Bob. So it must be her surprise present for him. <laughs> Trent! Trent! <laughs> oh, no! Trent! Where are you? Can you hear me? I'm over here, Scoop. Oh, thank goodness. Are you okay? Uh, kind of. Oh, dear. I can't move. I'm completely stuck. Hold on. I'll pick you out. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Trent. The there's loads of snow. This is going to take ages. But you won't be able to get all the way over here without snow chains anyway, Scoop. Find Wendy. She'll know what to do. Yes. OK. Good idea. I won't be long. Quick as you can, though, OK? It's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried! Down this hill, the avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread. I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. Oh, Wendy, I was so lucky. The avalanche missed me, and it would have missed Tread, too, if I hadn't made him stay put to watch me do a slide. It was an accident, Scoop. You mustn't blame yourself. What matters now is that we all work together quickly and calmly to rescue Tread. I'll do anything I can to help. Yes, I know you will, Scoop. Is there a problem, Stretch? Can't you dig Tread out? Yeah, I can dig him out easily enough, but I can't actually get him back out onto the road. Stretch can clear away the snow, but without snow chains, Tread's wheels will just spin when he tries to drive out. Guys! It's really cold in here. Mm. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere today. There must be some way to get him out. Oh, Bob, I know, I know. Tread's got a cable. Can't I use that to pull him out? Yes, that's a good idea, Scoop. But you can't go in the snow because you haven't got snow chains either, remember? Bob! <gasps> 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 Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. <laughs> there he is. Muck! Muck! <laughs> the ghost again! The garage. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Look, it's okay. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghosty. <sighs> what are you all doing in. 
Oh, no! The jacks! They're all dented and broken! It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck. I've been a terrible guest, and I've been very rude to you. That's okay. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me. It'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. There we go, Philip. All clean and ready to go. Thank you, Bob. Does everyone know what they're doing in Philip's Go Slow plan? Yes! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Ready? Then we got them in here just in time. I'll go and get Wendy and Dizzy. They won't want to miss this. Jenny, thank goodness. Look. <gasps> That's a Menelaus blue morpho. It's one of my butterflies. How did it... It hatched in Dizzy's drum. Can you catch it and get it inside? I don't have a net. And anyway, it could fly away any moment. Dizzy... It's up to you to save my butterfly. Can you drive very slowly and carefully back inside? I'll try, but what if I don't know this word? Dizzy, we can't hear a word you're saying. I said, what if I'm too noisy and scare it? We'll just have to hope it doesn't fly off. I really believe you can do this, Dizzy. Me too. Just pretend the butterfly isn't there. Okay. Come on, Dizzy. Slow and steady. You can do it, Dizzy. This is absolutely amazing. Isn't it beautiful? Look, Dizzy. Yes, Bob, but one hatched in my drum! Really? <laughs> really? Dizzy was amazing. She saved the butterfly. Thank you, Dizzy. I'm so proud of you. And of my beautiful new butterfly house. Thank you, Curtis. Oh, dear. I was rather looking forward to hearing the mayor's speech. You mean this speech that she's left behind? Oh, 
no, not again. And there's no way to get it to her in time. Ah, I know. Could you ring Wendy and put your phone on speaker so that I can talk to her? <gasps> Wendy! Disaster! I've lost my speech. Don't worry, I know. Just put in this earpiece that I've connected to my mobile phone and you'll be able to hear Philip through it. Philip? Just repeat what he says as naturally as you can. But what do you mean I, I don't understand? Trust me, Mayor, you'll be fine. Ahem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to be here at the launch of Anish Bose's new book. Anish is a dear friend. An enthusiastic archaeologist and a wonderful writer. We're so fortunate that he has chosen to share his passion for Fixum Castle and its history with us in this excellent book. I know it will be the success that Anish and the town of Fixum both deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I thought that went rather well. I believe I thought of everything. Yes. Except to fill up with fuel. Mm. Here we are, Spring City Stadium. What a perfect place to play sports. Yeah, I love sports. Mainly because I always win. Really, Scoop? What was the last thing you won? Well, there's... Um, can't remember at the moment. Bob, what are these over here? Those are the bleachers that people will sit on to watch the sports. Lofty's going to put them in place with a little help from a big friend. Isn't that right, Tiny? That's right. Looking forward to working with you, partner. Uh, looking forward to working with you, too, uh, partner. I love it when I get to work with Tiny. Well, you're going to need all of Tiny's help because those look so heavy. They won't be a problem. Look. <laughs> See? Easy. It didn't sound easy. You all right, Lofty? Me? Yeah, of course. I'm fine. Ooh, look. What's Wendy doing? Oh. Ooh. What are you doing, Wendy? This is where you and I will be digging a channel and laying a drainage pipe. It's going to go all the way around the edge of the stadium. That is a lot of pipe. Yes, but I'll have finished my job before you finish yours. I'll be the winner! Yes! It's work, Scoop, not a sport. We all work as a team, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right, Bob. Sorry. Is this where I'll be placing the seating sections, Bob? That's right. Two-Ton delivers them outside, Tiny passes them over to you. Another section coming in, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. And you put them in place like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Lofty. Yeah. You know, these sections aren't that heavy. Hmm. Okay. Watch out below! Here comes another! Oh, are you?
you okay, Lofty? <laughs> well, we've checked the rest of the building. The answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? huh? We found our ghosts, Wendy. They're bats. Ghosts! <gasps> Dizzy, Lofty, Mr. Bentley, we've solved the mystery. It's bats. Where are they? Um, uh, over here. <laughs> um. It's okay, Lofty. Look at the bats. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, yeah. They are amazing. But I wonder how bats got inside the town hall. Bats only come out at night, so they must have been sleeping somewhere inside during the day. They flew out of the fireplace, so maybe they were in the chimney. Yes, good thinking. We'll go up and check in the morning. You were right, Wendy. I found this hole yesterday and sealed it up. If that's how the bats were getting inside the chimney, they wouldn't be able to get out again afterwards. The bats were sleeping in the chimney. I accidentally blocked up their way out. So all you have to do is make another way out for them. It isn't that simple, Lofty. It's okay for bats to sleep there when it's summer. But they'd be hurt if anyone lit a fire when it's cold. Oh, no! You've got to find a way to keep the bats safe, Bob. Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll build the bats a new house and put it by the chimney where they used to sleep. I'm sure the bats will feel at home in their splendid new bat house. Now I need to work out how to tell the mayor about her new neighbors. <laughs> Good luck with that, Mr. Bentley. Oh, dear. I knew all along that the town hall wasn't really haunted. Of course you did, Lofty. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> It's already half built. I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was gonna build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight, and Tiny can't finish it on his own. Hey, Lofty! You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? <laughs> ready to go, Tiny! Nice claw! Yes! It's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All right. Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artifacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Anish. OK, team, this is a big job. Can we finish it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Be a pal and unload these stones. I need to rush back and collect another batch. But I'm building two ton. Go on, give him a hand, Lofty. We're still on schedule. Okay, Tiny, we'll do. Oh, this vase is thousands of years old. 
and look at this statue. I can't believe I'm holding such a priceless artifact. Hi, I'm Anthony. What's your name? Hi, I'm Cleopatra. Leo, those are priceless objects, not action figures. Uh, sorry, Anish. Thanks, Lofty. I'll be back soon. Uh, Lofty? Yes, Tiny? Some of these stones aren't straight. Pyramids are very neat constructions. Uh, this isn't quite right. Oh, yes. Um, I'll fix that, Tiny. I know you will. We're getting there. Everything's looking good, Anish. This is very exciting, Bob. There's plenty of space to show off my precious artifacts. Oh, no! Careful, Lofty! Look out! Whoa! <laughs> the wind's blowing the horseshoe, Lofty. You need to shorten the hoist line. Oh! Oh! I can't control it, Bob! Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. Okay. Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's okay. Thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either. Especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey. Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I'm ready for my big mo- Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can! Yes, you can. Racecourse's new gateway all finished. And cut! Keep going, Lofty! Nearly there! <sighs> Phew. Wow! Ten pallets in a minute! That's really fast! Well done, Lofty! How does your new claw feel? I love it! It was worth waiting for. Now I want to build something ten times bigger! That's good, because today I need you to do just that. Really? What is it? The new Spring City Pyramid. Spring City what he made? Pyramid. Pyramids were huge stone buildings. They were built thousands of years ago. Whoa. Our pyramid is going to house a new exhibition for the museum. That will be awesome! Let's get started! Am I going to be building the pyramid on my own, Bob? No, Lofty. Tiny's helping build it, too. I love working with Tiny. He's great! Oh, it's already half-built. 
I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was gonna build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight, and Tiny can't finish it on his own. Hey, Lofty! You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? <laughs> ready to go, Tiny! Nice claw! Yes, it's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All right! Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artifacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Anish. Okay, team, this is a big job. Can we finish it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Be Ready to work, Bob. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Just show me the spot. That's great, Stretch. Oh, but don't say anything to make Scoop feel left out, will you? He's very disappointed that he can't dig today. Oh, okay. Of course not, Bob. Oh, here comes Bob. I better get back to work. See you, Scoop. See you, Shifter. So, I suppose I'll have to stay here at the yard then, Bob. No, no, Scoop. I'm sure there's something you can do. For a start, you can give me a lift back and pick up Stretch's pile driver. No problem, Bob. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Scoop. It'll save us time, and I'll be very, very careful. I promise. Please, Bob. Please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, Scoop. There might be somewhere safe for you to work. Yes, you can dig out the line of uprights nearest the slipway. There's not so much seaweed there, but you must still be very careful. Yes! Oh, I will, Bob. Promise. Lucky. Right, it's digging time at last. Oh, 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 Bob was right. This is really slippy. Oh, slipping, slipping, slipping. Oh. Glad you could join in, Scoop. Thanks, Stretch. Ew. There, one jetty finished. One more to go. Oh, no. Stretch is almost finished. I have to work faster. Oh, but it's too slippery to dig properly. Ah, three rows all done. Great work, Stretch. One row left. Would you like me to help you, Scoop? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, thanks, Stretch. I can finish it. No problem. Okay, you got it. Bob, I'm ready for my pile driver. Oh. Whoa! Uh, 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 whoa! Uh, uh, man overboard! Uh, 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 what were you doing up there? Mr. Bentley wanted me to fly a flag from the mast. I see. 
You're a bundle of ideas today, aren't you, Captain Bentley? Just doing my job, Bob. Glad my expertise can be of help. Perhaps we could use your, um, expertise to check the weather forecast for the sea trial. Splendid idea. Where can I find the ship's barometer? We don't have one. Perhaps you could use my tablet to search the internet. Oh, not exactly what Horatio Fixum would have used, but I suppose it will have to do. Okay, Leo. We'll fix the crow's nest later. Come and help me attach the rudder. Oh, oh dear. Not good at all. There's a strong westerly wind on the way and the tide's going out. We need to make sure the ship is tied safely to the dock. Uh, Bob! In a minute, Captain Bentley. Never mind. This is a job for the captain. I shall retie the ropes myself, just to be sure. Over, under, pull it tight. Make a bow and it's tied right. There, all secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Ah, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? Oh, oh, that's not good. Whoa, <gasps> the ship and Captain Bentley. I haven't connected the engine yet. He's going to drift out to sea. Back up, Lofty, quick as you can. Yes, Bob. Oh, oh no, oh no. Off we go, Lofty, follow that ship. Mr. Bentley, drop the anchor. I, I don't know how. I'll stop it, Bob. <laughs> oh, missed. I can't reach. What? I can't reach. What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in. I can catch her up. It's time to find your sea legs. Jump in, landlubber. Forgot to tell him. Uh, why is it taking so long to put the supplies away? Uh, uh, um... uh never mind. Let's get both these jobs finished today, guys. We can do it. Come on, Lofty. You're with me. Okay. If we find Pilcher quickly, Bob will never need to know she was missing. We need to look everywhere. Let's go. Where are you? Pilchard! What are oh. you doing, Mug? Oh. Shh! I frightened Pilchard out of the yard, but I don't want to worry Bob. I need to find her. Oh, I'll help you. No, no sign of... No sign of what, Dizzy? Oh! Uh, no sign of us finishing any time soon. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hmm. Whoa! It wasn't me! I didn't press anything! Oh, Pilchard! She's in the car wash! She might shrink and be the size of a hamster! No, she's not there. <gasps> Maybe she's gone back to the yard. How did that start up? Pilchard! Pilchard! Nope. I guess the supplies are all put away now. Hmm? Uh, doing it now, Bob. I'll need some help. Oh. Yeah, okay. Here. Here. Here, kitty kitty. Leo? Oh. Shouldn't you be supervising back at the yard? Um, uh, yes, Wendy. But I, uh, need Lofty to look into some more heavy lifting. Really? How heavy? Um, you need to come and look, Lofty. 
Oh, I'll look, Leo. That's very important. They're all acting very strangely today, Bob. Hmm. Pilchard! Pilchard! Please come back! We miss you! But dumping's what I usually do. I thought you'd make a nice, neat pile like mine. You should have said. Oh, yeah, silly me. Muck, can you make a nice, neat pile like mine, please? Yes, yeah, Shifter, I can. Awesome! Lofty and I have to go back to the yard, Dizzy. You need to stay here with Leo till we get back. That's okay, Bob. No problem. Just make sure he takes it slowly this time. Mm-hmm. That's more like it, Leo. Lofty and I are running out for a while, okay? Of course, Bob. See you later. You can do this, Leo. You just need to slow down. Get into a rhythm. I know, but how? I'm not very good at going slowly either. Uh, oh! I know. Have you got any music on your phone? Something with a rhythm that you can work in time to? Uh, slow. Slow. How about this? Wow, that is really slow. Perfect. Off you go. Ooh, this is wonderful. <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this now, Shifter. Very neat and tidy. It's almost as good as mine. Oh, no. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Oops. Awesome. Huh? My turn, my turn. He shoots, he scores. Yes. Go! Yes, look at that. All completely level. What do you think, Dizzy? <gasps> oh, it's perfect, Leo. Bob's going to be so proud of you. Thanks, Dizzy. Whee! Hello? <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Leo. How's it going? Really well, thanks. Dizzy says the wall's perfect. Oh, great. I'll be back soon. OK, see you later. <laughs> Watch out, Mom! Huh? <laughs> and he scores again! My turn! My turn! <clears throat> <gasps> I see you haven't got very far with your assessment then, Muck. <gasps> Shifter, we're supposed to be cleaning up! <laughs> That's where my other sock got to. And... Oh, I can listen to the lovely music all day. Good, everyone. Well done. Bravo! 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 I think it's time for you all to return to the yard and help Leo with the tidying up. Okay, Bob. Let's go. Bye. See you later, Bob. Bye. Oh. oh. Um, Rolly. Can't I stay a bit longer? Well, there's not. But I like hearing you practice. Yes, but. Luncheon is served. Tuna, spinach, and banana sandwiches. Great. Right. Excellent. Come on, Bob. Jump right in. Coming. See you later. Hmm. What is 
Leo doing in there? Leo? Oh, huh. hi, guys. What are you doing? You can make some really crazy sounds with this stuff. Huh. Listen. Wow. How exciting. It's great, Leo. Hey, we could make our own band. Scoop and the Machines. That's a silly name. And anyway, we're supposed to be tidying up. And we will, Lofty, we will. After we've made some music! Well, as my old dear granny always used to say, a band can't play on an empty stomach. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. Leo? What? Hello? Is that you, Bob? Can you hear me? What's all that noise? Pardon? Sorry, Bob. It's a bit noisy. Keep it down, guys. <laughs> We'd better get Bella back in her enclosure so I can feed her. Okay. Let's all have a break for lunch then. <laughs> Shh. I'm playing a joke on Scoop. He'll be coming by any second. <gasps> Where's Muck? He's dumping some soil. Okay, then if everyone's out, let's close things up and leave Bella to have her lunch. Off you go, Bella. Your food is ready for you in your house. Come on, Bob, let's go and eat our sandwiches. I'm really hungry. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? It must be Scoop. Three, two, one. <gasps> Sandwiches are delicious. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, good. I can't wait to try them. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Hmm. <laughs> the bears can't wait to try them either. Huh? That's Bella. Sounds like something's wrong. Come on! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh no. Please stay there. I. I. Oh. Ouch. Uh, what's Muck doing in there? <gasps> I've really upset Bella. What do I do, Bob? Don't worry, Muck. We'll get you out. while we figure out what to do. Okay. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, girl. If I was a real elephant, maybe I would know how to make Bella feel better. I see you like Bella's ball, too. I just had a great idea! Shh, Bella, it's okay. Shh, girl. I haven't seen her like this before. She'll calm down eventually. I'm a bit worried about Muck, though. Can I go in? I think it's best if I do, Bob. Bella knows me. Hi, Anish. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container by any chance? I'm afraid not, Muck. I was expecting a delivery of ancient Egyptian statues. But this seems to be full of sporty stuff like soccer balls and hockey sticks. Oh, I must find Tutan. Did he say where he was going next? No, he didn't. Sorry, Muck. Oh, okay. See ya. Bye, Muck. Ooh, this is awesome. This ride's gonna be the coolest thing we've ever built. <sighs> What's taking Muck so long? He and Tutun should be back by now. Oh. Hello, Muck. Hello, oh, Leo. Yeah. We're off to the sports stadium. Sky's got a big surprise for us. Oh, that's exciting. 
I'm looking for Tutan, but I can't find him anywhere. Have you seen him? We passed him at the town hall not long ago. It looked like he was dropping off a big delivery. Thank you so much, Betsy. See ya. Ooh, be careful now. Oh, dear me, no. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container, please? Uh, no. Just dozens of old statues packed in crates of straw. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Bye. I was expecting new furniture for the town hall. A sofa for the mayor's office, some lovely colorful cushions. I'm never going to find two ton in time. Now I'll have to tell Bob the bad news. It's looking great. We're getting there, Wendy. But we still need to install those props, Bob. And soon. Ah, there you are, Muck. Any luck? Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. I've been looking everywhere, but I still can't find Tutan. But without that container of props, we can't finish the ride. I did see one container at the museum and another at the town hall, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside the muck? Uh, let's see. Mm, Mr. Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. Anish had huh. soccer balls and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr. Bentley's sofas. That's right, Leo. So where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The, the sports, sports stadium. stadium. Oh, Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the sports stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Tutan. Just not quite the one I was expecting. Thanks, Scoop, but I haven't filmed Muck yet. Aww. You want to film me? Are you sure? Just tell the camera how you clear away dirt. Oh. Oh, I, um... Uh, 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 Don't worry, Muck, I've got this. As you can see, breaking up the ground makes a lot of mess. So we have to clean up after ourselves. Scoop, you're going to hit the... Oops! Oh, intercom unit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh th th don't worry. It's just a little bump. It'll be fine. Ah! Oh, no. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm clearing... Uh, dirt. <laughs> pouring cement. Then we'll put large stones on top of it to make the new curve. Oh, but I'm the one with the talent and good looks. There. The intercom is ready. Great. And now it's time for a milkshake. You're not going to make another one. Don't worry, Wendy. This time I'm going to make a simple strawberry milkshake. What could go wrong? Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the lid on. Hmm. Oh, it's almost time for the opening. How am I ever going to be the star of Leo's film? Hi, Scoop. Hi, Hi Scoop. Scoop. The Spring City Rockets are ready to be the first drive through customers. So, where do we go? This way, Betsy. I'll show you. <gasps> That's it. Hey, Leo. Betsy and the Rockets are here. Why don't I lead them through the drive through for your film? Oh, that's a great idea. This is going to be the grand finale, so let's make it the best bit. Okay, get ready, everyone. The drive through is opening. And action! Welcome to the new milkshake bar drive through First stop, the menu. What can we order? Cool! Uh-oh! Scoop, you're blocking the way. Everything okay? Of course, uh, everything's fine, because, because Chef Tatty will now ask for your order. Whoa! Oh, watch out! <laughs> but how are you going to get all the way up on your bucket? Well, to start with, I just need to lift my back end up a bit. 
doing it! I'm doing it! Uh... Oh. Maybe you just can't do a bucket stand, Scoop. No, maybe not. One more push-up bean to go. <sighs> Me too. Finished! <sighs> well done, Wendy. Now we need to mix up the cement. Don't tell me, Bob. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> you got it. It's no good, Dizzy. I'm not getting anywhere with my bucket stand. Hmm. When Sally does handstands, she usually does them against a tree, and she takes a run-up to it. That's it! You're a genius, Dizzy! Huh? I can do my bucket stand against a tree and do a great big drive-up! There's a tree! Um... Scoop! No! When I say... Don't worry, Dizzy! Here comes Spring City's first ever bucket stand! What happened here, Scoop? Um, well, I was trying to do something I'd never done before. Well, you've definitely made a mess like this before. Uh, these parallel bars look a bit bent. A little bit more than bent. And we need those to finish the exercise trail. And it's all my fault. <gasps> I know! If I race to the yard and pick up some new bars, Maybe we can still finish on time. Well, you won't have long. Sky will be back soon. You have to be really fast, Scoop. That's it! If I can get to the yard and back that quickly, that really will be something I've never done before. Yes, all right. You can go fast. <gasps> but carefully, Scoop. Yes! Faster than I've ever been before! Faster than I've ever been before! OK, team. We've still got lots of parts that aren't bent. And the monkey bars are okay. But without Scoop, we'll have to do all the digging ourselves. Hmm. 